Today I'll be factory resetting my Sprint iPhone 4S, which was originally unlocked by this China 3GPP SIM card. I think it's called an R SIM Ultra or something. Ultra R SIM. This is not the. I'm not. It's not the Neater Team GPP SIM. There's the website over here. Uh, it looks more like this, and I had to download the. What's it called? The, the software from a Chinese website is all in Chinese, but they had an English link or something. But back to this iPhone. So the very first step I'm going to do is do a factory reset. So you go to settings, general, and then you scroll down to reset. Erase all content and settings. So this will erase my phone. I need to put in my password, which, so you guys don't know. Okie dokie, so now it says erase all contents and setting, erase iPhone. And are you sure you want to erase? Yes. So usually after you erase your factory reset your phone, the GPP SIM with your carrier, which mine is T-Mobile, uh, won't work anymore. You have to reinstall the software uh, that you first ran. Um, it might not be true for uh, certain GPP SIM cards. I heard, I remember some are just plug and play, you just pop it in and it works. For the latest version, OS, iOS 6.1.3, I, I haven't had any success. Usually I have to reinstall the software. So, here my phone is, factory resetting. Okay, so I'm at that screen. Uh, what I like to do is I just like to go ahead and activate it through iTunes. So I'm just going to plug it up to my computer. I oy vey. Plug it into my computer. So on my computer, iTunes opens up, so I go to it's showing iPhone over here on the computer, zoom in, hopefully it's not too blurry. On the left side it says iPhone. Let me go ahead and go back to my phone and try setting it up. So select the country. I'll scroll down and connect to iTunes. I'll continue anyways, I don't need the iStore. is connected to iTunes. It's activated now. I don't use to see display location services. And then set up as a new phone. Agree, agree. Don't use Siri. I don't send diagnostics. I'm ready to use the phone. Then up here, it says your phone is ready for use. Device is active for CMA US network only. So if I pop in a SIM card, uh, it won't work because it says international roaming requires a SIM. So I need a SIM card. 
Okay, let me pause this. Okay, here's the fun part now. Back to reset my phone. There's my GPP SIM and T-Mobile card. Go ahead and pop this out. Put on the GPP SIM first, T-Mobile card. Oops, let's do this wrong. So it's no service. Usually when it says no service, you'd have to go to airplane mode on and off. One thing I just want to check is under cellular, I want to turn roaming off. So one thing you can do when it says no service is to turn on airplane mode and turn it off. Wait for it to search. If you're lucky, it'll get T Mobile. But again, as, as I said, I factory reset this phone. And with these GPV SIM cards, some of them require you to reinstall the software, the PC software. Mine is, I believe, a China 3 GPP SIM, an Ultra R SIM model. I don't know. The seller that sold this on Amazon is gone now. Can't ask them for support. So I'm just a regular user like you guys. So it's still, it says no service. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to try restarting my phone. After it shuts off, press power again. Wait for it to reboot. It should be pretty quick. Okay, so it's rebooted, slide to unlock, it's searching, and I just let it go for a minute. Hopefully it's able to find T-Mobile. Um, now it says waiting for activation, this may take some time. That's probably not good, usually when it says that, it means that GPP SIM didn't recognize well. So again, to go back into settings, once it says no service, usually it won't do anything. Again, no service. That doesn't work. The next step is to reinstall the PC software. Uh, you need uh, iTunes already installed. Okay, so it didn't work. So now I'm going to try and install the PC software. So give me a sec. So this is my iPhone 4S Sprint model, iOS 6.1.3. says no service right now. I'm going to connect it to my PC. I've already installed the GPP SIM with my T-Mobile SIM card. Plug it in. iTunes may boot up on my computer. Um, zoom in a bit. 
I already have my RSIM software here. So I click on that. This this isn't the first time I've installed the software. So when it loads up, it should say what my iPhone is, the firmware version and baseband. Uh, it says device not found. So zoom in on that a little bit more. Uh, on my iPhone itself, it's saying iPhone is not activated. Contact your carrier. So I'm going to go ahead and install the software. Click the install button. And ask me which one I want to use. I'm going to click Unicom. And so then it's going to start to install. Eventually on my iPhone I will see a pop-up that says China Unicom install profile like this. Most people say you don't have to install it. If you look on the pop-up here on the desktop it says please reboot your device. It's already successfully installed. So that's what I'm going to do. Unhook my phone. Unhook my phone. Power it off. Again, it says no service. Let me put this to the ground over here. It's easier to record. Now it's shut off. I turn it back on. When you uh, first get this phone up and running, uh, remember to download and keep a backup of the software that you used. In my case, when I go to the RSIM website, I've just tried the latest version and it didn't work too well for me. So I actually saved a backup of the software somewhere on my computer. So my phone is searching right now for the network. Hopefully it finds it. And then I can call it a day. Waiting, waiting. My phone is in a Neater Team GPP SIM. My other iPhone 4S is a Neater Team, but I can't factory reset that. It's being used by one of my family members. So hopefully it finds what it's looking for. And there, bam, T-Mobile uh, 3G. Go to settings. I should always check on Ah, uh, whoops. The very first thing it's going to pop up is about iMessage. Click OK. Uh, in settings, you should go to cellular and then make sure that um, data roaming is set to off. You might not want to incur any extra charges. The other thing is under cellular data network you may have to put in your APN settings. Uh, so it's really strange. I can I never got the latest version of 
the RSIM software to work. I had to use an older version. Um, this one on my computer screen. Let's try zooming in. It says it's version 3.1.1. Uh, I have a newer version over here. The latest version I found on the, I think, official website. I might have to close this so the other one can open. And this is version 5. I've been having trouble trying to run version 5. When I try to run it, install some weird stuff onto it. So, again, here's my phone, iPhone. You can see that T-Mobile is working on it now. Sorry about the blurriness. Let me try zooming out. This is an old camera of mine. But over here it says T-Mobile. I hope you can see that. So that's it.